All right, welcome back everybody to part two of this Wagyu corned beef challenge that I'm doing here. So today actually I'm gonna take the corned beef, show you how I turn it into pastrami. Before I talk about that a little bit more, I'm gonna go back to the corned beef concept. So we did let it sit and marinate in that brine for about seven days. Then what you wanna do for the corned beef is no different than the pastrami, is pull it out, rinse it off with some clean water, put it back in a clean water brine to desalinate. So you wanna pull some of that salt out of the meat. Otherwise, you're gonna get a really salty, pretty uh, briny meat when, you're, when you cook it down. And you'll do the same for the pastrami as you would for the corned beef. Let it desalinate for eight to 24 hours and then take it to the next step, whether you're gonna turn it into corned beef or pastrami. All right, as I just mentioned, after you let it sit for about seven days uh, in that brine, take it out, rinse it, desalinate it. The next step you wanna do after you desalinate for the pastrami is give it a good rub. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the comments section for you to go follow along, figure out what we did to rub this bad boy. After you rub it, you leave it uncovered in the fridge for about two days. Uh, and then we're gonna pull it out just to bring it to room temperature before we cook like we're doing today. Uh, as you can see from this bad boy, um, it's, it's really tender, really juicy. Uh, the, all those days in the water bath just really broke down uh, this meat beautifully. So when I put it on the, on the grill slash smoker, I wanna bunch it up a little bit kind of like this, just to keep it tight, keep it even across, and really give it a good smoke uh, on there. So now, let's head to the, to the smoker and let me show you how I'm setting that up today uh, for this pastrami. As you can see, I set up the coals nicely in there, put some wood chunks in there, Got a little water bath right underneath the pastrami back there uh, to allow it to retain moisture. We're gonna roll this at about 225 degrees Fahrenheit, four to six hours, wherever we can get to the stall. Uh, we want that internal temp to be around 150 degrees Fahrenheit to 160. Uh, and then we'll pull out the pastrami uh, and then do a, do a nice little uh, um, steaming bath for it to steam it the rest of the way when we're ready to serve. And we're back as you can tell it's it's dark out now this bad boy took about five and a half hours uh, smoked it slow again at 225 degrees Fahrenheit until we reached an internal temperature of about 155 now I'm gonna pull off this pastrami I'm gonna wrap it up in some foil allow it to rest for another uh, 45 minutes to an hour or so and then I'm gonna put in a steam bath so you, if you have a steamer at home you want to set up a steamer a boiler uh, however you have it, there's different kinds, whether it's a stainless steel one or a bamboo one, or you can make one on your own with wire mesh and just allow the water to kind of steam it. Uh, you'll want to steam it to then an internal of about 203 degrees Fahrenheit to make it super juicy and tender, uh, and then slice it. So don't slice and steam, steam whole, and then slice it down for your sandwiches afterwards. And you can keep it in the foil, it'll keep for another week or two in the fridge um, with no problems. If you're not gonna eat it all today, you can cut it in half, steam half of it, steam it later, whichever you prefer. All right, thanks again for watching. This has been the Barbecue Sultan going through the whole Wagyu corned beef process and then turning it into a pastrami. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you try it out. Let me know what you think, drop some comments, drop them likes, please subscribe. And at the end of the day, as I always say, there's no flame, there's no game. Until next time.